Oh, that looks so dreadful. Would you like to join us in the cemetery? Wanna do it again? No. Oh. Um, yes. Yeah? All right, high five. Hey everybody, welcome back. And we are at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We entered the park about 3.45, met Jack, and was done by 4.05. Uh, so we were like the third person in line to meet Jack, which was really, really great compared to last year, where we had to wait for over two hours. Uh, we used that time to go ahead and eat. Uh, we ate quick service. We wanted to try the Pinocchio's Pete's Flatbread Pizza there, and we did so. Um, also, we uh, went ahead and rode Barnstormer. We rode Barnstormer, as you saw Asher's reaction. Asher, did you like the Goofy roller coaster? Yeah. Did you put your hands up? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Want to do it again? Yeah. Atta boy. Everything's closed. Mostly all the rides here are closed with a hand select few that are still open. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're trying to find something to do until seven o'clock. It is about almost six o'clock. Yeah, we're gonna enter the virtual queue for Tron in about six minutes. And then we're gonna make our way over to, Asher wants to do Mickey's Fill Our Magic and It's a Small World. So we're gonna head over to Fantasyland to kind of do those things while we're waiting to go trick or treating over there. So. Let's go back to Mickey's Fill Our Magic. I am not riding this of my own free will. I asked Asher if he would like to ride Peter Pan or It's a Small World. This is what he chose. We really have got to talk about his priorities to rides 100%. Because who chooses It's a Small World over Peter Pan's flight? This guy. Asher. You wanna ride this one or Peter Pan? This one? Yeah. Save me. All right, friends, we just got off of Tron Light Cycle Run. I went to the virtual queue and my virtual queue was immediately at seven o'clock. So kind of timed out pretty good because uh, we rode it's a small world, and by the time we got done with that, it was time to head over to virtual queue. Uh, we're just getting close to time. It is 7.30, so we wanna hit Mad Tea Party, but we just don't wanna hit it right now. Um, the, the thing is, man, is a lot of people will tell you to go to the second parade. But because so many people are being told to go to the second parade, there are so many people going to the second parade. I see that, Bubba. Go ahead and open them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the first parade because based on everything we looked at, the first parade seemed to be a lot easier to get into than the second. Uh, granted, the timing around everything between the first parade and the fireworks are kind of pretty similar to one another because you've got the parade at 8.15, then you've got the villain show at 8.45, and then you've got the fireworks at 10.15. And then after that, it's just whatever else you want to go do. So at about 10.35-ish, we're done you know we have the parade we have the villain then we could come back and shoot a different angle on the villain show right at midnight um, we did some trick-or-treating around the Tron area and Asher already got his bag full of candy uh, with just two stops so oh looky there Tweedledee and Tweedledum and then five minutes 
Push it. Play hard. So, looks like we met Tweedledee and Tweedledum without having to stop and meet Tweedledee and Tweedledum. It's great. So, we're going to head over here into the castle area, get a spot for the parade, and start getting things set up for fireworks and all this stuff. It's a lot of work tonight. Let's go do it. Well, we kind of had a change of venue at the time. Parade does not start until 9.15, not 8.15. The app said 8.15. In actuality, it's 9.15. So we're gonna goof off for a little bit, do some Halloween party stuff, go over here and grab some pictures. And then I think uh, at 8.35, we'll go do the first, we'll capture the first angle of the villain show. And then we'll set up for the parade shortly there afterwards. All right, so the parade doesn't start for uh, over an hour. Uh, it's sitting in right at eight o'clock. Yeah, that's where we're going, Bubba. So we decided to go ahead and get one of the rides on the Halloween themed rides. The, the Matic Party. I almost said Mad Teacups. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to make our way over here to Mad Tea Party. Get a ride on this thing. And uh, then we're going to go stake out our spot for the parade. And we've already staked out our spot for fireworks. So I know exactly where i'm going to be recording from which is exactly where i was going to be recording from last night so we're going to come over here to mad tea party from Casey's Corner at our fireworks spot. It is approximately about 8.40. The race starts in about 35 minutes. So I felt it best to go ahead and get our fire, uh, parade spot. Um, and then what we'll do is after the parade is over, we'll go to our fireworks spot, which is about 25 yards that way. And then we'll pull out the tripod, get it set up and uh, record the show. After that, we'll probably do some more trick-or-treating and then around midnight, we'll rotate back around and watch record the final Hocus Pocus show. But for now, we're gonna do the Boot to You Parade. So we just got done with fireworks and parade. 
Whew. They ended up starting the fireworks early uh, due to potential weather. And let me explain to you the story behind that. Last night when we were set to record Happily Ever After, there was a massive storm that moved through and delayed the show for like two and a half hours. They kept delaying the show for over two hours. About 11.30, an hour and a half after the park had closed, they finally canceled the show. So I knew that tonight, if there was any weather, the last thing they were going to do is cancel the fireworks show because everybody was complaining about this and that. I didn't do so because I didn't want to add to the already massive amount of people that were doing it. And it's just... There's nothing that anybody can do about it now because the show was canceled yesterday. What can you do about it? They shot the fireworks off about 2.30 last night. So, man, we're gonna head over here to Big Thunder Mountain and uh, ride it. And then I think Asher and I are gonna go ride some kitty rides like Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, stuff like that that have really, really extremely low wait times. Uh, so that way we can have a little bit of fun before we get out of here. I'm hoping this storm stays away, but I don't think it's going to storm. It's just far away, but I said the same thing last night too. So, all right, we're going to make our way over into Frontierland. Come to All right, friends, uh, we just got off Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and Mother Nature is telling us that it's about to rain. It's starting to sprinkle. So uh, that's my cue. After last night, filling a few sprinkles are giving me PTSD from last night. Being in the rain, being soaking wet, my shoes being wet, all that. No, nope, I will pass. So Mike's riding it right now. And then after that, we're gonna dip. Asher is gone he had a sh went into a sugar coma so he is gone so it's it's been let's summarize the party all together is the party worth the investment of between 119 and 169 dollars per person per day i think it is if you want low wait times I think the highest wait time we saw was Peter Pan's flight, which was at 45 minutes. Everything else was, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad was a walk-on after the fireworks. But they're about to shut it down because of the rain. So I really think it's worth it. The fireworks show and the parade by itself really, really makes it worth it. Um, so we always come every year because it's such, it's, it's so much fun, you know, ending our trip was such a great event and the trick-or-treating and the Halloween theming and I mean everything here is great so we'll always come back we won't be back during this time of the year next year because when I go home I have so shoulder surgery so we'll be leaving out tomorrow afternoon so that's gonna do it for us here we're gonna dip out before the bottom drops out here I want to thank everyone for tuning in for this year's trip don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications got a lot more videos coming. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.